out. Welcome to the basic tutorial on how to export SRT files in Dote. When you export SRT files, it is only for subtitling your videos. So uh, in Dote, it is really easy to uh, export an SRT file and then you can actually subtitle your video uh, in a quite easy fashion. So this is a subtitled version of the Lego demo project and I can just play that. go, so start and you can see that the subtitles, they appear as the video go plays along. So uh, if we jump to Dote in order to see how we can actually export an SRT file and then subtitle our video, you will see that it's really quite easy. So as I said, this is the Lego Dem project. We are uh, currently in the Jeffersonian transcript. And uh, here you see the transcript with all the different uh, um, details of the transcript and now we want to go to file and then uh, select export to SRT so now a window appeared called export to SRT and here you can uh, select and tick off a range of different things first of all it is important to notice that you can actually preview your SRT file before you export it uh, to the file so as you can see here, each uh, line here is actually a small segment the, uh, that are numbered throughout the preview window here. And you can see that for instance, in uh, num line number four or segment number four, which is uh, from uh, 005 to 007, uh, there's a participant saying three, two, one, go. So basically uh, the SRT file is a a rough version of your transcript that you can then export to an SRT file and then it is available as a subtitled version of your video. But uh, before we export it, I just want to show you a few things you can change uh, when you want to export to SRT. First of all, we can change between the original language and then the subtitled or the translated version, sorry. Uh, so we have the original uh, Danish uh, tra uh, transcript, but we also have our English version of the transcript. I'll just check the, select the original, and then we can actually also uh, make both uh, the original and the subtitle or the translated version appear in the same uh, SRT file and uh, as subtitles later on. So here you see that now we can actually see that this uh, segment that I talked about before, number four, there's both a uh, Danish version, 3, 2, go, but there's also an English version called 3, 2, 1, go. So for now, I'll just tick it up, tick this off again. And you can also see that uh, there are other things that we can uh, tweak, the other ways that we can tweak our transcript. So if a translation subject is missing, the current speaker is speaking that language. Uh, so, so that is also a way of, of uh, mastering your, your SRT file. We can also uh, include uh, the, the time interval. So here you see that now micro pauses they are appearing in our uh, SRT file, and we can also show speaker names. But for now, we can just try and export a version with uh, speaker names, uh, and we only want the Danish version. So I'll just try and go ahead and do that. And when we export, a new window will pop up and we will be prompted uh, to call our uh, SRT file something. And here it is really important that we call it the exact same name as our original video file because then our preferred media player will pick that up. It goes for both VLC but also pod player that I will be using in this video. Pod player is only available for uh, PC but uh, VLC is both available for Mac and uh, Windows, so you can decide on which one you want to use. But now I'll just uh, hit save, and then I'll be asked to replace it this time. And if I then go back to our uh, folder, then you see that we both have a video file, but we also have our SRT file. So if I try and play the uh, video file now, you will see that uh, Pod Player is automatically picking up our uh, SRT file 
and now our video is actually subtitled. This is really, really much easier compared to earlier on where you had to go into different software in order to uh, produce your different uh, subtitles of the video. Instead of using your preferred transcription software, you would have to go into another type of software in order to uh, create subtitles. So now it's just your, your transcript in Dote that you have uh, exported as an SRT file, and now we have a subtitled version of our video. I can just play a bit further. So, when I say go, so I start it. Are you ready? Yeah. So, so that's basically it. We have a subtitled version of our video. Uh, and I just want to show you uh, if we include more detail in our uh, subtitles and SRT files. So if we go to file and then export to SRT again, and now we also want to include the uh, the sub tier, the translated version of our transcript. So in the preview, we can now see that the English version of the transcript is also included. And we also want to have our time intervals, but we also want to show speaker names again. So now we have in a few seconds actually created a new version of a subtitled uh, version of our video. So this is just a new X SRT file that we, we can export. And uh, you could uh, create uh, yeah, copies of your video file and then call them something different if you want to play around with having different versions. In VLC, you can also change between different subtitles uh, inside the media player, but I will not be doing that at the moment. So we will just call this the exact same and we will override uh, in a second. So we will save it as uh, the Panasonic 2D SRT file and we will override that. And we will now go back to our folder. And here we have again our video file and our SRT file. And this is the most recent one. And then we will just hit uh, play. And here you have both the Danish version and the English version of your transcript. And we have the pauses included and so on. So we have a completely new SRT file that is allowing us to subtitle our video. So as you just saw, it can be quite cluttered. Many uh, different lines of uh, of the transcript will appear in the same in the same like second. So there are other ways to. Uh, to place the different uh, subtitles in different uh, areas of the video, but that is not possible directly from Dota, and we will have to uh, uh, use other software for that. But that is for a advanced tutorial on how to export uh, subtitles and SRT files uh, from Dota, and then you can tweak it in your preferred video editor. Uh, there are free versions out there, and we will be covering that in a later video on how to manipulate and tweak uh, your SRT files so you can actually uh, tweak it to the individual video and uh, that is giving you a lot more detail and control over how your uh, subtitles will appear in your video. But uh, that is it for now. I hope you will have learned and seen how easy it is to create an SRT file and thereby subtitle your video directly uh, in Dote. You don't have to use any uh, third uh, product to uh, to get your subtitles of your video, you can just use Dote and the transcript that you have already produced. So go ahead and try it out yourself.